Hey, it's Nicholas Matt tonight. Tonight I've got Zorin OS5 Lite. Lite means LXDE, as you all know. It's a CD size, not DVD. Some of the others, as you know. Um, it's the first of a couple of LXDE stuff I'm going to do for the next week or so. Because there's a lot going out. A lot of LXDE stuff's going out. Some of it's suitable for LXDE, and some of it isn't, as you will see in the next couple of videos I'm going to do. So anyway... Zorin here. Now Zorin is very very polished as you know. It would be the top end of the LXD market I would say in the Linux distribution. Right, I'll quickly go through it with you. Over here we have shutdown, time, my network, my sound, two desktops. We have Audacious as your music player, not my favourite as you know, your file manager. Right, Google Chrome is the browser, not Chromium, Google Chrome. If you don't like it, Uninstall it, put what you want in, okay? To the menu, we we'll go to the menu. Right, under accessories, we have calculator as usual, leaf map, put leaf pads there, the terminal. Zorin Internet and Browser Manager, okay? We'll open that up for you. Leaves me password. I'll put that in for you just for this moment. Right, we have Google Chrome. Now, you can uninstall that if you so wish to. But in this little section here, you can get Firefox, Opera, and Midori. But do remember, if you go into Synaptic and other stuff, you can get whatever browser you wish to use. So if you don't like them, just use what you want. But that's what they're recommending. The boys, sorry, the guys from the Black Stuff, I'm going to call them now because they're getting old now. When I first started using Zorin, they were the boys from the Black Stuff, but now they're the guys. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, we'll close that. Go back to the menu. Okay. We also have the Zorin Look Changer. Now, the Zorin Look Changer, you'll think, well, what is that? Well, at the moment, we're in the Windows 2000 look. They're trying to make Zorin easy for Windows users to come across and use Linux. Okay? Yes, I know it's Debian and Ubuntu based, but in Zorin OS 5 Lite, you only get two choices, which is Windows 2000, which we're in there, or Mac OS X. If I was to choose Mac OS X, I would have to log out and re-log back in again. And that wouldn't look very good, would it? No, because it would resize and if we go hunky-dory not. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you do. We'll close that. But if you get one of the other versions of Zorin OS 5, you'll get about six or seven different versions, including GNOME, you get XP, you get Vista, you get Windows 7. Just the look of it will be different. Okay? That's okay with me. Okay. We'll go back to accessories one more time. You also get the Zorin OS Lite Extra software. Now this is available in the software center anyway. Excuse me. I'll just type it in again. Says so Linux. Safety first. Safety first. Look left. Look right. Look left again. You know what I'm saying. From here you can install Wine to run all your Windows stuff. And as far as I'm aware, that comes with Play on Linux and all the other stuff. VLC must have. It will play any codec anywhere in the world. If it doesn't play it, there's something wrong with a bloody file to start with. And games, I don't know what they've got in there, so I haven't you know, researched it enough, personally. Okay. This ain't got piles, though, is it? Anyway, under graphics, you just get GNU Paint, Image Viewer, and Simple Scan. That's all you need. Under Internet, you get Google Chrome, as I've said before. Internet Browser Manager, again, I hate when they do that, but hey, it does it. Uh, Pigeon is your chat messenger here. That's no good. Actually, it's super duper. It's, I, I use Pigeon all the time. Do you? Yeah, I do. Postler Mail. And that's different for using your mail, but it's a, a small, light, and lean mail manager. That's what it says on a tin. That's nicey, nicey. But they've kept the ISO down to a CD size. Under Office, you get Abbey Word and Junior Merrick, Dexter for addresses, and Osmo for your organizer. Abbey Word, as you know, just works, and so does Junior Merrick, and these are the latest versions. Sound and video, you get Audacious, a disc burner, and a media player, which is a known player. Yeah, this is a short video, by the way, it's not a long one. I'm making it a short one for a change because I'm going to do Ultimate very soon. I've been meaning to do it about three weeks now, I just haven't got around to it. Right under System Tools, now as you can see, you get quite a lot here. As usual, in a Debian Ubuntu system, you get additional drivers, so you can put that non-free drivers in if you wish to do so. Add and remove software, there is plenty there, but it's not usual, so I'll open it and tell you what it is like. It looks like this. It's a little bit different. A bit minty, a bit Debian-y, 
but it's not the same. They've made it their own, as I say. And I, I like what they're doing. Don't get me wrong, I like what they're doing. And as long as it works, I don't really care. No, I don't really. Okay, we'll see. System tools. <clears throat> You also get Synaptic is still there, Surface Pack Rate is still there, System Master's Backup is still there, Windows Wireless Drivers is NDS Wrapper, as you should know by now. Okay, Preferences, usual, Customize Look and Feel, Key Mapper, Monitor Settings, bloody bloody blah blah blah, Sunjoy Plugin, and Text to Speech. If you've used that, it's quite fun actually, especially if you're really, 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 really drunk. It's like it's really funny. But anyway, let's run also and log out. Now I'm going to quickly open the browser, which is Google Chrome. And there we go. It's the first screen you get. Do you want to get Angry Birds? Because as you know, Angry Birds is available for Linux on any Chrome browser or Chromium even. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, it is. My kids love it. It's just a bit of fun. It is better on a tablet, by the way. But if you want to play any browser, it works. Okay. So I'm just typing Zorin for now. And see what we get. Zorin OS looks good for me. Right, it's moved. So we'll go to a new website. We'll click there. I did know that by the way. I just was going through the motions, if you know what I mean. The, the site is well polished. The distro is well polished for what it is. Don't get me wrong, it's well polished. Number five is a big, big, big improvement over number four, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I mean? I've yet to test the ultimate five. I will be doing it next week or so. I know I'm a bit behind some of you others, but yeah. Some of us got a lot of children and other stuff to do and lots of work. You know what I mean, we do have stuff. Oh yeah, we do. Really, we do. Yeah. Enough of that. Right. Zorin OS 5 Lite. <sighs> Thoroughly recommended. I cannot give it a 5 for the simple reason. Updating from here. I had a bit of a problem when I was doing the basic update. It got stuck. And I'll go to some, some terminal commands to get rid of it, even that didn't actually cure it. But after a couple of days, I got rid of it, okay? so it works. Right, so I'm only going to give it 4.5. If they can get the update system working correctly, bloody fine. I would recommend it anything five years plus older. Be ideal, super fast, super duper duper. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later, by the way.